Hey guys, you're watching C1 and Only, my name is AJ, and welcome to another lesson. I can't remember what lesson we're on. Um, of School of Redstone, and this is the block switcher. So this is a nighttime episode, as you can see the sun's starting to set. Red sky in the morning, shepherd's warning, red sky at night, shepherd's delight. Um, is that right? I think so. Um, I don't know if they have that in America, but in Britain, that's what it means. Um... So yeah, we're doing block switches today. So this is your basic block switcher. You push the button. And it switches the block out. And replaces it with whatever block you want. I'm, I'm using glowstone in this example. So really easy to do. Really compact to do. Two normal pistons, one sticky piston, one repeater, two torches, and a few pieces of redstone. So we're going to build one of these very, very quickly. Sticky piston. Button, one of them, one of them, one of them, and some walls. What should we use? We'll use wooden planks for this one, and we shall replace it with glowstone again, because I find that to be the most useful one. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a sticky piston down like this. Now this is if you want it on the ground. I'll show you the next example in a minute, but um, to build it, you put one sticky piston down on the ground. And then two normal pistons on the next block out. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah. On the next block out. And put your normal block of what the wall is going to be. Like that. And then put your one that you want to switch it with to the one next to it. Three blocks on top. Two blocks to the side. What we're going to do is we're going to put a redstone torch above both the pistons on the side here. We're going to link them up like this with some redstone. One piece of redstone there. And one repeater. Now you don't need any delay, but for the noise it makes, I always have it on maximum delay. And then you put your button there. And then that's it. So you push the button. And we swap the block out. And we push the button again. And it swaps the block in. And it's really simple because, uh, as you can see, it's using sort of uh, like a T flip flop. Sort of. So when we press the button, it temporarily puts t both of these torches out. Sends a delay through to this one to draw this piston back. And then these two pistons swap whatever they have. Then the piston goes back forward, pushing the other block out. So, like that. Very, very simple. So, what I've done here is I've taken it one off the ground here. So, we've got one ground clearance. We can push the button. And now it's halfway up the wall. Which is a nice place. I think halfway up the wall is the best place for it. Uh, and then what I've done here is I've actually put it into a, a giant example of a house. So, here's my house. And as you can see, it's very dark in here. We don't want it dark. So, I've got the switch up here. We push the switch. And it lights it up. Then we can push the switch again. And it swaps it all out to normal walls. So in the daytime, we can have it on um, just the wood. And then at night time, we swap it out for the blocks. So if I kept the night now. And now it's daytime. I can turn the lights off. Lovely. Still pretty dark in there, but. Uh, and then what I've done here is, above, I haven't filled the whole roof in so you can see what it is. The button is, um, I think either here or here, I think it's here, the button is under that block. Yeah, it is. So that's your basic um, block switcher that I had built over there. And then all I've done is I've linked it across the top to another one. And then linked it around to another one. And then that was the maximum block distance, so I've put a repeater in here. And then hooked it up to another one. Hooked it up to another one, and then it couldn't quite reach to the last one. So, uh, stuck another repeater in up to this last one. And that's all it is. It's as simple as that. But it gives a really nice effect. Ta-da. I really like the um, look it gives. And, uh, yeah, sorry about the ever so short episode, guys. Um, it was just a very simple one to build. But I think it's really useful to do if you are building... Um, an adventure map and you can light up the room and you can darken the room 
whenever you want, you can hook this up to some sort of other redstone circuit. Um, or some sort of clock so the lights come in and out at certain times, turn on and off. I think that would be a cool idea. Um, yeah, hooking up to a clock. But yeah, that's the basic thing. That's off the ground if you do want to see it. I mean, it's not that hard to get it off the ground. You just do it one block up. But yeah, you can put it on no delay. I'll just show you quickly. But it doesn't give the right sound. See, it, it just doesn't seem as smooth. Um, but when you put it on full delay, you seem to get this nice... Shub, shub, shub. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Just me, I think. So, uh, there we go, guys. If you liked it, hit the like button. And if you didn't like it, hit the like button. Because you got to hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. You know uh, what to do there. And always leave a comment if there's something that you want help with with redstone leave it in the comment section below and i'll be able to help you and if it's a big enough subject that i think a lot of people are going to have trouble with i will make an episode about it so look out for the next episode guys and we shall see you then